I think I'm just not very good at the stealth in this game for whatever reason. Have you tried getting better? I actually am trying to. I was pretty good at it in the first Spider-Man game. I don't really know what the difference is if I'm just not used to it. I think you were good at it last time we played. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people think I'm just terrible at this game, to be completely honest with you. Hey, you're okay. You're trying your best. Okay, well... Why didn't was, you take that guy out quietly? Because I pressed square and it didn't do it. That oh. one was not my fault. You oh. guys saw that. That was legitimate. That was weird. Leave it in. Leave it in, all right. Brian Intahar, take that. See, this is the perfect place where I would have loved a web grenade or a tripwire. I need to use one of your other gadgets. You got other gadgets. Yeah, but they all initiate combat. Even the, like, one, the, the, like, little mine one down there that, like, you press R1, then you press the left. I mean, it, I guess it worked there because I just knocked them all off the building, but yes, that normally initiates combat. I don't know. I don't think they would have saw you, would they have? It genuinely does. Like, it, oh. it alerts them, and then they look up, and they're like, oh, look, it's the guy. I like stealth gadgets. Why'd they get rid of all the stealth gadgets? I don't know if they got rid of all of them. I just feel like I'm... Maybe I'm not understanding something. Maybe. Um, because they did not get rid of all of them. Web multiple enemies. Like that. Pushed further back with the ricochet web. I really don't know. I mean, it just doesn't really seem like any of these are geared towards stealth as much anymore, except for going above them with the tripwire, mm -hmm. or the, the wire, the mm -hmm. line, mm -hmm. and then taking them down manually. Mm -hmm. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. Are you a sneezer, weezer, leezer? Yeah, I'm having problems. One of my favorite things in the other games was knocking people off of buildings and then seeing if the web would magically attach them to a building before they died. You can't just have invisible hideouts around New York. Whatever, I don't care anymore. Come on. Well, I mean, you didn't need to stealth the whole thing, did you? No, I don't need to. It doesn't matter. I can very easily just combat the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, it's not really a problem, is it? I don't know. Um, I really liked the stealth, and I don't really like that it seems, to me, less intuitive. It's very possible I'm doing something wrong. A lot of these gadgets, though, I've noticed are very combat-based. Well, maybe you should test more of them out and see which ones you think would be better for stealth. Yeah, maybe I should. Because a lot of these, it just seems like they initiate a, a full-on combat encounter. I think sometimes they expect you to do one and then turn invisible. Yeah, but once you do that, then you have to wait for them to all stop detecting you again. Yeah, that's the point of stealth. Right, but you just have to sit there and wait Sweet. the whole time. That makes sense. Let's see what else is here. Ooh, what's that? Maybe you've got something to tell me. I'm waiting to see if one of these will clamp on our hand again and take us somewhere. Ow. Remember when that happened? Yeah, it was like spring trap. What are they up to? What is that base? It looks like a, a church. Yeah, of some kind. That looks like where the hunchback of Notre Dame hangs out. Better take out that relay if I don't want reinforcements coming. There's also two more blind signals around here. Gonna have to keep hitting the blinds until I find out where the base is. So, question. Do you think we'll ever meet Miles' uh, mom's boyfriend? Because we haven't as of yet. It's probably Kingpin. No, it's not Kingpin. Uh, it's Norman Osborn. Yes. Actually, I would, uh... I would expect something like that from Insomniac at this point. Like it to be a big twist? Yeah, to be like a big twist that doesn't make any sense just because it's different. Okay, Jill, we're getting a lot of people mad at us because we don't, like, re give the game the reach around, as uh, Joker would say. I was just making a joke! I know, I'm just joking with you. This is cool. That is cool. Wow. I'm not saying the game is bad or anything. I'm just saying sometimes it seems like they do weird twists. Um, just for shock factor every once in a while. No, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, there's certain things that I've agreed with that they've done, and there's certain things I haven't. Mm. You know, I really like the black suit so far. All these filters are terrible. <clears throat> that one's cool. Oh, that one is cool. I've really liked the black suit a lot. Uh -huh. But I do think it took a little while to get there, and I already know when Venom shows up. Hmm. 
And you have the suit for a while, but it's not exactly... You also know who Venom is Welcome attached to. to is that Spider-Man? Help! Help! Don't worry. I'll find you. Destroy them all. Or die. Okay, Miles. Remember, everything's an illusion. Even that fake Mysterio. That is um, kind of the thing I was referring to with, like, a big twist that you maybe wouldn't see coming that, like, is completely different from anything we've ever seen before, and it's mostly just for shock factor. I get what you're saying. I, um, <clears throat> my thing is, like, I just think that the biggest offender to me is Mary Jane basically being Lois Lane. And yeah. I will keep saying it, and I'm sorry if that bothers people, but... This illusion is an illusion. Hmm. My thing is, I actually don't mind who the person is that becomes Venom. I just think it's um, a little bit of a shame that they introduced a specific character in one of the games in a sneak peek and then just decided to never do anything with that one. And maybe they will in the future. That's true. That's just what I was kind of referring to as like a slight disappointment twist sort of thing. No, I, I, I agree with you. I think that... It's hard because, like, I don't know everything that happens yet. So, you know, like, I can't really just sit here and tell you, like, oh, I don't like this, this, and this. It's just... So I was recently reading, and, and I want people to know, I love Spider-Man, okay? So I think some people think I don't like this game. I want to be very clear. I really like this game. Okay? I really like it, too. And I think Jill is a little more negative on it than me. But I'm not trying to yeah, shit on Yeah, I'm always here. like that. No, that's and that's okay. You know, you don't have to be easily pleased by everything. That's... That's fine, and I think people are adults and they can deal with that. Mm -hmm. Amazing! You actually lived. That was a nightmare. I got gold on that one. Wow, good job. Make sure you leave. Don't just stand there. Leave. Yeah. Leave the place. Get out of here. Yeah, what the heck? I would not stay in here. My thing is, I've been less and less and less easily impressed with AAA video games um, ever since I started getting older um, and understanding more about the gaming industry and understanding more about how money works. I agree. Can I play this real quick? Yeah. Okay, let's talk image. We want to assure investors you're not the criminal you once were. I've done my time. Shouldn't that be enough? Unfortunately not. Let's talk about your origin. What led you to become Mysterio in the first place? I... <laughs> Is this really necessary? If you want to be successful, yes. I... I guess it was ego, mostly. We all have egos, Quentin. Oh, not like mine. Former supervillain has a big ego. Go figure. I, I understand what you're saying. I do think that with a lot of games, though, it's okay to accept some things at face value, mm -hmm. you know? And I don't think everything needs to be perfect. It's just, as someone who does read Spider-Man comics and likes Spider-Man characters, personally, I want the first Venom in your universe to be Eddie Brock. Yeah. And personally, I want MJ to be MJ, not yeah. not to be Lois Lane. And, yeah. and it's fine if people like that. That's cool. But, like, to me, that doesn't match up what I like about the comic book characters, you know? No, I agree. I completely get that. It just does not match up with what I enjoy about them. And there's ways to change them. So, for example, I was recently, um, you know, kind of reading Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. And something I really like in that is that they take MJ and they actually make her into Spinneret. And what they do with that is they give her access to Peter's powers, too, because he uses technology. I might have already talked about this in this. To make it so that she can also... I'm pretty sure you talked about this last part or the part before. Well, is it okay if I still say it? Yeah. It, 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 they basically make it so that she can help him and help their daughter as well. Me, that's not a legit business transaction. And for me, that was a great way to include MJ in the plot, make her a strong and capable character. Wait, these are legit criminals. They're not just hunters. We're actually fighting real criminals. That's cool. Awesome. Oh, wait, there's a hunter here. Never mind. He was meeting with them to get stuff, it seems like. I guess. So do you get what I'm saying, though? Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. And I think it would be really cool if they did something like that in this game or like i guess next games you know 
for the Spider-Man series because I don't think they're stopping here. Um, just to make MJ a little bit more capable and have her game parts because it kind of seems like somebody has like a boner for giving her parts in a game. So if they're going to do that, I think it would be cool to actually make her a legit superhero. I guess at this point, I would rather just leave the Insomniac universe on its own and finish it and do a different universe, maybe focusing a little more on Peter. Mm. And, um, you know, you can bring Miles in later again if you want. I don't think that necessarily needs to be a bad thing. Because, mm -hmm. like, I like Miles in these. Uh -huh. But I'm saying I wouldn't start with that because I feel like then you're just copying your last game. Uh -huh. um, but I think, you know, if you have, like, another Spider-Man game just focused on Peter and his family. Because in that universe, the superhuman civil war never actually happened. They were able to avert that. Mm -hmm. And that... you. Uh, that event is what actually led to Peter giving up his secret identity and essentially coming out as Spider-Man to the world and then he had to make a deal to save his family. Uh -huh. um, and that deal cost him the future life of his daughter. Wow. At least according to the deal at the time. All right. And made it so that him and MJ would never be married. And at the time, that's one more day. It was done basically, look, I'm Superman. They say they can't make uh -huh. a game. At the time, it was done because editorial just didn't like Peter having stability and stuff, which I thought was dumb. Mm. But with Renew Your Vows, something I really like is that Dan Slott, despite all the crap he gets for being a little sensitive to criticism online, which maybe I am too, so fair enough, mm. he decided to try and make an alternate universe where that didn't happen, where Peter got married to MJ, they had their daughter, they you know, had a family. I like that. And, and I liked it too. And that to me was a great way to incorporate MJ in and then, you know, make it about Peter and his family. I'm saying I would love a game about Peter, his daughter, mm -hmm. and his wife. Mm -hmm. And MJ is a supermodel and an actress, and then mm -hmm. she becomes a superhero. And a supporting and character. And there's nothing wrong with that. By the way, yeah. nothing wrong with her being hot. Mm -hmm. You know, Peter's... <laughs> Peter's hot in this I, game. If I was going to design MJ, I would make her the hottest woman in the entire game. Dude, Peter, real quick, and Harry. I'm not gay. Mm -hmm. They're good-looking men. Mm -hmm. They were very clearly designed to be handsome. Uh -huh. But it does seem like with, with MJ, they really tried to go this down-to-earth, homely route. And I don't get Maybe why when right. that doesn't match who she's been. Yeah, it does seem like they tried to do that. Let's see what we're working she was always someone who was beautiful on the outside, but still had a hard time fitting in. A stain on my legacy, a disgrace, but deadly nonetheless. Find them, kill them. Craven, how many more people are on this guy's list? Dude's Chris Jericho. It's using this satellite network to track his targets. You're not getting away that easy. Oh, Chris Jericho had the list of Jericho, and it was a joke in WWE that it was basically... It was his thing that were, like, his hit list of people he wanted to take down. Oh. That makes sense. So I have to follow this to find Lee. I, um, I like the idea... It doesn't matter, Jill. I like the idea of MJ being beautiful on the outside but being kind of awkward on the inside and having a hard time connecting with people. And then she connects with this big nerd, Peter yeah. Parker. I like that angle. It, was, and it, it seems like in this, she's more of a... Um, Go-getter. A people person. Doesn't really mess things up for the most part. I mean, she does, Perfect. but she doesn't... You know, nobody really acknowledges it. Like no, when she almost she, got everyone like, killed in Central Station in the first game or whatever. She's like, can do no wrong. A like, little bit, it feels like. Yeah. She has the data now. You know, Nate made a good point, and this sounds sexist now, but MJ, she was a supporting character who was meant to be desirable, mm -hmm. but also she was a three-dimensional character who had a lot right, to her. Uh -huh. It wasn't just that. Where uh -huh. are you keeping Lee? What? All the targets got corrupted into one file. The drone had no intel on Lee. But these people still need my help. Otherwise, they'll end up as heads on Craven's mantle. If there are more birds out there, I can decrypt them to discover the identities of the targets before it's too late. Should upload the data to the Spidey servers. He's gonna want to see this. Harry? Uh, hey, you with Pete? Hey. No. Uh, listen, I saw you chasing that robot bird around on the news. 
Do you need any kind of tech support? Like, running the app or something? Actually, I got a friend doing that already. Gotcha. Uh, sorry, I'm just feeling useless, and my mom would always say, if opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. Even though she's gone, I still ask her for advice. Isn't that weird? Nah, it's the same with me and my dad sometimes. Nice to know I'm not alone. Thanks, and good luck out there. You too, man. Maybe some advice would be good right now. So, I don't think anybody has filled in Miles on the whole black suit thing, have they? No. So does he not really know what's going on with that? Probably not. By the way, this is one of my favorite suits. I have the Funko Pop of this. You should put it on. We're at uh, Jeff's grave. Yay, Jefferson. Hey, Dad. Could really use your help right now. I'm doing everything I can to find Lee. But nothing's working. I know what you say. A hero is someone who doesn't give up. And I'm not. I just don't know what else to do. Maybe I should just ignore everything else and spend all my time trying to find Lee. No. If people need help, I'm helping. And I'll find Lee. If Pete's too busy, I'm Spider-Man. I can handle everything myself. Wish me luck, though. Thanks, Dad. I love you. So, who needs help out there? Looks like a graffiti artist went a little overboard. Better check it out. I think it's kind of funny we did that thing with the bird and then immediately after we get a call from Harry and he's like, I saw it on the news. Like, what do they have like alerts and stop everything to show like what Spider-Man's doing on the news that very second? Probably. It's probably J. Jonah Jameson in a thong chasing him around. That's really funny. How do you do? Okay. Enable posing on. The... Well, Dad, you're dead. <laughs> oh, my. It's like a Joker thing. Oh, that actually would make sense. Just sitting on nothing. Oh, okay. That one makes sense. That one looks sad and solemn. <laughs> Did you see the next one? Yeah. Wouldn't this give away his identity? I don't know. What? What the heck is... Oh, that one's sad. I don't know. I still love this suit. I love the Funko Pop I have of it, too. I think it's very cool. Wait, what's this? May and Ben Parker. Look. Helping people one at a time, Mrs. Parker. Do you think, um, like, predictions here, do you think that Miles is going to kill Lee? No. No. No, I think Miles... This is just my opinion... I think Miles is a little bit their golden boy. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is I think that they're trying to transition to eventually having just another Miles game without mm -hmm. Peter. Mm -hmm. And I don't really think they would put Miles in a position where he just kills someone. You don't think so? Not really. But they are putting him in a position where he's heavily considering it. Right. That's true. Let's mm -hmm. check out this graffiti thing and then see if we can uh, switch back to Peter. Uh-huh. And we'll grab the stuff on the way. But yeah, no, I mean, that's just a character development thing. I don't think that means he'll actually do it, do you? I don't think so. I was just asking your opinion on it. Because it doesn't seem like Peter's ever really considered something like that, has he? Oh, uh, yeah. No, he has? no, Peter definitely has, especially with Norman mm -hmm. in the comics. I, don't... I meant, like, in this continuity, like, in this game. Yeah, this Peter, I, I don't really know. I think that he will start considering that with Craven. Mm -hmm. I think I just saw something over... Did I... Nope. Hey, MJ. Hey, Miles. Just spoke with Pete. He's heading over to Dr. Connor's house in Queens. Stay ready in case he needs backup. Oh, really? Did Pete ask you to call me? Well, no, but <laughs> figured two Spider-Men are better than one, right? Sure. Okay, thanks, MJ. 
Sounds like he doesn't need me. Maybe I'll go see Haley in the meantime. So he is getting sick of his bullshit. He doesn't really want to talk to Peter anymore or help him. He wants to just do his own thing, right? Well, yeah, but wouldn't you? I mean, you get that way too when friends ignore you forever. Yeah, I start to get really mad. We have friends that we don't really talk to anymore. I don't even know if I'd call them my friend anymore. Because they never talked back to us, right? Yeah. And it just gets, I don't know, exhausting. I'd actually be interested in what people in the comments think about that. We don't do enough of asking people in the comments what they think, by the way. Oh, well, let's I know ask it's people not in the stream. comments. If, if somebody just stops talking to you, do you put the effort in to try and message them, like, multiple more times to see if they'll continue being your friend? Or do you just say fuck it and decide, well, if they're never going to talk to me again, then why should I bother? My boy Shine Comics, who I don't know if he watches this channel or not, but... Did you see you were mine, on the Avengers building? I did. He made a good point where it's just like, there's only so much effort you can put into people. That's kind of what I thought, too. Nate was saying as the game goes on, the suit starts to look a little different. Really? So I'm kind of watching for that. Is it looking any different? I don't know. What? Wait, what was that? Did you see that? Uh, I don't know. Was it a bird? Was it a plane? Was it Superman? I don't know what it was. It's gone now. Huh. Okay. Hey, did you see there's a spider behind you? Spider? I did. It's this way. I thought I saw a chest. Oh, well, the, uh, the only chest you get to see is MJ's in this game, and it's not even much of one, so... Wow, okay, body shaming. What? <laughs> Yeah, I really don't appreciate that kind of behavior, Joel. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying. Well, it sounded mean to me. No, I'm sorry. Hey, oh, oh, here. Here it is. Let's hear what Ooh, he has that to say. Spider-Bot's gonna clean this city up from the inside. That one's cool. Was he that was a, very large. Was that kind of like a Spider-Cop slash Spider-Noir reference? Maybe. All right. I want to wear the Spider-Man noir suit. It is really cool, but do I want to wear the black suit. Do you want to put it on for just like a bit, or no? Because it's, it's black. Not right now. But it's black. Joe, later. Aww. I want to use the symbiote. I've been waiting the whole game for this. Uh, okay. Have you not? You just don't care? You're like, nah, I don't want to use the symbiote. No, I want to use the symbiote, but I also just like kind of miss changing suits every once in a while, you know? Well, I'm not saying we can't do it, it's just I really like the black suit. It's one of my favorite things in all of Spider-Man. That makes me uh, happy for you, but I'm bored. You're really bored of this suit? No, I was just making a joke. Oh. Well, you would tell me if you were. Yeah, I know. I I, I just wanted to use the Spider-Man noir suit at some point because I thought it was cool and we never got to use it because we unlocked it recently. Well, I'm sure we will. There's also some black suit variants we'll eventually get. Wait, actually? I thought there weren't any. Um, they are not of the main costumes. They're of other stuff. Oh. It's hard to explain. There's... But do they have, like, the black um, webs that shoot out to go with the I symbiote? believe so, yes. Oh, okay. You get to wear them after you lose the symbiote? Uh, I'll tell you later, okay? <laughs> you remind me of another great spider I know. Hey! I've got some news on our mysterious bots. This third-party ping is coming from far away. Like, millions of miles far. Like, from space? No, they must be scrambling their location or something. Yeah. I think I can get to the source if you find just a few more. Whoever's doing this, I want to shake their hand. Just because it's the multiverse, right? I don't know. The multiverse! I would think so. Multiverse! Oh, hey, here's, here's Connors' house. Nice house. It's cute. I oh, like the bricks. Like Connors is home. Probably really expensive considering He's where he lives. Control of his green alter ego. I've always wanted to live in a brick house. Dr. Connors? I always thought actual New York homes were really cool. Mm-hmm. But they're ridiculously expensive. How long has that been going off? Can I look around? You have to pay like 10 grand to live in someone's shoe closet in that uh, state. In that country. Well, in that city, sorry, I should say. Not the state of New York, but the city of New York City. It's like a joke for pricing, which the housing market is in general now. Connors' family. Heard his wife left with their son after the first lizard fiasco. Oh, really? 
Why is his wife hotter than MJ? Not that Craven cares. In sickness and in health, but not in lizardness, I guess. It should have said that on the back. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I not? wanted to read his medications. I've got that must a, be his baby. I've got the world's smallest nitpick no one's going to care about except me. Okay. You know what I really like? Do you remember when you would walk around your house at the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy and how detailed it was and how detailed the ship was and stuff? Uh-huh. I his love... Son's room. Oh. You love what? I wanted to hear what he had to say. I always loved that. I thought it was so detailed, you know, compared to a lot of games I see where they have walking segments. Mm -hmm. That's not really a shot at this game. This game's pretty detailed. I'm just saying I thought it was... How is this a nitpick, then? Well, I don't know. It's more like a nitpick at gaming in general. Oh, that makes like sense. Like, a lot of walking sections, they don't put as much detail in as that game. I thought it was really cool. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of Easter eggs and, and stuff. I love her. I like this. I think it's kind of fun. It is really fun. I'd love to, if we ever have a kid, I'd love to have a fun room for them. Yeah, I want a room like this. It's cute. I don't know if we should have a TV in their room, though. No, nah, maybe not. Maybe TV time around Mommy. That way Mommy can decide what um, they watch. <laughs> Dual sinks, but only one's used. Just, just go ahead and do this bathroom thing. There's something in the bathroom. He just said two sinks, but only one is used because the other one isn't used anymore by his. I know, wife but there's a off. thing in the shower. It's been glowing. Oh. I thought it was glowing from the. If you press the sense button. Oh, it's not that weird. It looked like a shower when it was in the thing. I was gonna try and say the first time I ever saw porn, I was like ten years old, and I I think a lot of kids find it before that. Mm -hmm. And my point was just that. Must be lonely living in a house all by himself. My point wasn't, my parents should have kept way better track of me. Like, they were busy people, and they, they did their best to take care of me. Um, but I don't, I wouldn't really want my kid being exposed to certain adult Doc? things so early. Mm -hmm. That do affect you as a person. Connors was here all right. And fighting for his life by the looks of it. No matter what you think of it, like, it is, you know. Oh there's certain things that are very adult that I think kids, you need to limit their exposure to. Yeah, like that weird huggy, kissy, like, horror thing that this has been going around that they make toys in the kids' aisle for. I don't want my kid watching that. Show high text? Michaels? Like Michael Morbius? Oh, no. Molecular mechanisms of genetic recombination by Dr. Michaels. Interesting enzyme behavior need additional regents at off-site facility. Oh. Huh. All right. Genetic recombination research? He came home to cure himself. Hard to do experiments in your living room, though. Yeah, it doesn't seem easy. Interesting that he still retained enough of his intelligence to do that. Mm -hmm. It kind of goes like, I guess it depends on the lizard version. You know what I really liked? I liked when the lizard was a goofy villain, like back in the day, and he had a trench coat on. Outside of his lizard. He had a trench coat on? Yeah, he had... Cute. Oh, do it. Same song from the mobile. Yikes, that's a fun sound. Are you able to, to copy one of those things? I don't know. I thought maybe we were supposed to do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to fix it. Oh, do you think this is a puzzle? I don't know. No. Oop. You did it wrong. Sorry. Are you good at pattern recognition or no? Yeah. He can't do it very fast, can he? Nope. No. What? Da 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 da. It's two of the one? same note. Da da. Yeah, but you messed it up. And already. then you do this one. Oh. Yeah. Well, let me thought, do it again. I thought you were good at this. I am. You know, this is something I always recognize is like people criticize me about how good or bad I am at something, and then they're trash. No, it's not that. Give me this. 
Well, I, I couldn't because you were like, blah, 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 blah. You really forgot already? Hand it to me. Just let no, me do it. I, I bet I can do it in one try. I want to do it. Why would you just let me try? Do, do, do. 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 Yeah, how hard was that? There's probably not even a point to this. You don't think there's a puzzle to it? <laughs> Let me look, look it up. You solve the puzzle. There is a puzzle? Head back into the living room and on the table near the window you'll find a kid's toy in the shape of a jolly pig. Oh man, what did Craven do to you, Doc? Press the barn and the toy will play old McDonald. You have to return- He tore through here. How are you still standing? Hello? No numbers on the keypad. Purple, purple, purple. How many times did I do purple? Three. That's green. What? But I didn't even finish it. Connors loves his secrets. These blood samples are for a genome analyzer. Does Connors have a lab here? It says something about shutting lab and caused by masked man. You should be able to get closer than that. No, they actually wrote the whole thing out. See, that's a level of detail that's really cool. And there's even another side to the paper you can see. Oh. That's kind of cool. Are you wanting to read it or no? Got all the time to put into that, but not into making MJ's jawline look like a human being. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, hey, uh, endoscobity. Endoscobity? Endoscobity. Yeah, oh. Endo W. Riz. The Rizzler? I bet Doc Connors is sticking out his yacht. You know? Look, this is what short people see. So you? Yeah. You have this to is, look up at all times? This is what, like, his child got to see. Thank you. Are you wanting to continue? Hey, why or? did he leave his socks in his shoes? Are you just dragging this out because you don't... Wait, but why do they look plastic? They are plastic. You just don't like that I play the action part, so you drag yeah. out the walking? No, 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 go downstairs. Well, I, I wanted to be able to play a little bit of the game, but I didn't want to do, like, the action parts. I just wanted to do, like, the walking around investigation stuff, because I find that the most fun. Well, I understand, but you know, I like that, too. This lab probably kept him and his family safe whenever he had an episode. Reptile terrariums for Connor's initial limb regeneration tests. I never did find out how he lost his arm. Motion sensor triggered the security cameras about 30 minutes ago. What did he put in me? He was trying to test his blood. Come on, Dr. Connors, fight it. <laughs> Craven's gonna pay for putting Connors and his family through hell. Wait, so does his is his wife still with him now? I thought she left him. Does he still get to see his kid? I don't really know. I do know that that would put a huge strain on your relationship. In terms of your question on how he lost his arm, I don't remember. That makes sense. I just kind of assumed that the government would be like, well, you're not the mother of the child, and you put people in danger by being a, a lizard, so you can never see your kid again. The end. Probably. Because that's what the government likes to do to men. You can go through that. I don't know how. In this game, for some reason, if you get really close to something, you can't do this, but you have to back up and then use web yank on it. Oh. We discovered that before, and I don't really know why, but it's probably so the asset doesn't just hit your character. I couldn't hold him. Exactly how Craven likes it. 